Julia and I are great friends and we talk about cooking all the time, but we disagree on a lot of things because, excuse me, <laughs> because we're very different. I have lived all over the country and from the Midwest. Lifelong New Yorker, never left. I'm gay. Straight. Raised Catholic. Jewish. And I'm much better looking. So they say. <laughs> and one thing we talk about all the time is food. And we also disagree about that. So we turn those disagreements into a series of what we call cook fights. And today, we're going head to head in a battle of the Christmas cookie plate. Or as we should say, the, hol the holiday cookie plate. Please. This is, but you see, this is supposed to be a joyous process. We're making holiday cookies for our friends and loved ones and family. <laughs> I think Santa wants a Christmas tree lenser cookie. Ho, ho, ho. What are, you, what are you doing there? Well, I have always wanted to make a Thin Mint. That is my dream. So when we decided to take this on, I was like, candy canes, Thin Mints together. It's really easy. You just make this cookie that's almost like an Oreo. And then you just put a little bit of peppermint extract in it. Like I thought Thin Mints were something that you could only have engineered by like the space program. But or the Girl Scouts. It's really easy to make them, yeah. These are a little bit of a fussy cookie. This is uh, just a butter and roasted almond dough, which makes it awesome. Yeah, um, didn't and you have to like refrigerate it you do and roll knead it, it and oh, re-roll the scraps? That is one of my, if there the is a recipe them? where it says re-roll the scraps, I'm just like, next. What are you, <laughs> you like just to waste food? You have to run an efficient and thrifty kitchen. You know what's efficient? Slice and bake cookies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Who taught you that little trick? Oh, me. <laughs> So I'm going to crush big. it a little more. Crush, that's too big. Uh, hey, hey, <laughs> back off. It's too big. My cookie. Mm -hmm. Moskin, I love the patel. And as you know, this is my Aunt Philomena's recipe. Well, families used to have different little emblems in their presses. They were always the first Christmas cookie to come and the last one to leave. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they were the last one to leave because oh, they're ouch. not so interesting. Oh, they're delicious. They're like a gentle respite and they're lovely with coffee. They don't get in the way of other things. It's the umami <laughs> of the holiday cookie plate, truly. Even though I don't have the Christmas cookie ancestors, I do have the Rogelach ancestors. Bold, bold <laughs> to do the traditional Jewish cookie for the Christmas plate. It's not I got it. I got to hand it to you. That's a bold move. Using puff pastry means that you can make these in about 20 minutes, and it used to take about three hours. So props to me. That's right. So your mm -hmm. people aren't suffering as bad as they used to. <laughs> so good. <laughs> All right. Now, as you will notice, Miss Moskin. There's no flour in my last cookie. Oh, you're going Boom. right for the jugular. Gluten-free. So what's all this? That is powdered sugar, cocoa, and salt. Powdered sugar, not kosher for Passover. I'm not making it for Passover. <laughs> I'm making it for the gluten-free. This cookie is the peanut butter cookie from the City Bakery, which is a great, great place in New York's Flatiron District. I thought they wouldn't give out that recipe. Are you yes. kidding me? Well, the owner is very protective of his intellectual property, so this is a feat of reverse engineering. Chocolate chewy snow caps versus what? A Salt. peanut butter cookie? <laughs> Wait, what? This oh. is the holiday cookie of the religion of New York City. Oh, you are just making that up, <sighs> I swear. Yes. Oh, it smells like a bakery in here. What do we got going on? Is it like an amateur bake-off party? <laughs> oh, no. Like somebody knows what they're doing. Are you serious? <laughs> what are you, in the, like in the neighborhood? Well, I smelled cookies and I walked right in. I'm here to taste, I'm here to judge. Great. Hi! They're professional. Well, we're screwed. This is my super Christmas move. Okay, so what's the um, filling, the jam? Filling is a seedless raspberry conserve. It's a very good um, recipe indeed, but um, you know, typically when I decorate the cookies, I would dust the sugar before I put it on. Dust the sugar before you put what on? Before, before you sandwich it together. That way it's a nice layering of uh, white oh. snow. Dang. Good to know. Uh, how did you punch out the circles? With a straw. One by one? Yeah. Wow. That's what home cooks do. <laughs> <laughs> so mine is a homemade version of the Thin Mint. Mm, another holiday theme, but a bit whimsical, right? I would never call you whimsical. <laughs> I'm the whimsical one, if anyone asks, OK? Candy canes, too, I think is kind of an amateur move, don't you? Uh, it's a nice touch, you know, to give it a Christmas uh, theme to it. It would have been better if um, the chocolate was tempered because typically you want the chocolate to melt in your mouth and not in your hands. Um. <laughs> 
This is a chewy chocolate snow cap, and uh, I wanted to have a little bit of chocolate on my Christmas tray uh, without going straight fudge, and it has crushed sugar cubes on the top. It's nice, it makes it very chewy when um, you um, take out the flour, there's a lot more texture to it. It's mm -hmm. supposed to evoke the mountains, the snow-covered mountain. You're mm. just hitting every possible cookie. <laughs> okay, you girls, don't fight, okay? Because there's always a cookie for everybody. Okay, so this is the salty, sweet, crumbly, melting, uh, delicious peanut butter cookie. It's made with cultured butter. I do believe the texture has that sandy sable. It does have that. Mm. Well, typically with peanut butter, you know, you do want it to melt in your mouth completely because, um, you know, the mouthfeel is what it's all about for peanut butter for me. You know, the salt is a nice touch because it actually makes your mouth salivate and want more of it. Mm. It's a very good cookie. I think he said it was dry, though, <laughs> and your mouth needed to be. This is a pit sale. Um, these cookies have a lot of feel for me emotionally, so if you don't vote for them, that you know, hurt me a lot, but um, but they're, they're just a very traditional um, cookie from the region that my um, family's from, and um, you know, they're simple, and I really, I think they're very subtle and sweet. Um, you know, I think that um, it would be nice if it's like sandwiched with something in the middle. I know mm -hmm. it doesn't become a Brazil anymore. You're not from Italy, are you? No, I'm not from Italy. Okay. I don't think anyone has made rogelach with puff pastry before, and it's a really nice shortcut. Wow. Looks kind of like a breakfast pastry. The funny thing with Ragala is that... Um, Ragala. <laughs> Ragala. Um, <laughs> He's not from the old country of yours either. Well, traditionally it's made with uh, a cream cheese dough, um, not exactly layered, but puff pastry is cheating though. Um, but I understand for a home cook um, <laughs> to be, uh, you know, in, in a pinch. Yeah, it's kind of like a breakfast pastry when you think about it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Julia. It's Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas Day. <laughs> well, for me, cookies make you happy because this dessert is sugar. You want to package it nice. And especially for the holidays, you do also want the cookies to last for a few more days. So you want to think about, you know, doing cookies that would keep over time. So for those reasons, um, I have to um, <laughs> divide up the winners because these cookies sure are pretty. That, that, and that. You know, they evoke a sense of holiday and gift. Um, these are more rustic. They both win in my book, but if I have to choose, I would have to go with these. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! That is a curveball. Ouch. I never, I, you know, I mean, I just Ouch. think, I just think it's the pizzelle. You think I lost because of the pizzelle? I lost because of my family. Oh, now you're getting all Italian. <laughs> I lost because of my family. I'll live to fight again. Another day. Next time. Hanukkah. Hanukkah. <laughs> oh.